So well before this weekend's deadly ambush of two NYPD officers, we have been following months of anti-police protests after the Michael Brown killing in Ferguson and then the death of Eric Garner while being taken into custody in New York City. But some of those protests took an ugly turn. Here are demonstrators at a march in New York organized by Reverend Al Sharpton chanting for the death of police officers. <laughs> To listen to that. They got what they wanted, though. Jammu, uh, welcome to you. Janine Borelli, welcome to you. Uh, Janine is the president of Conservative Review. Jammu Green is former president of the Women's Media Center. Both are Fox News contributors. Uh, let me open it up to you, Jammu, first. Your thoughts on this? Well, those protesters unequivocally crossed the line when they called for the death of police officers. They let their anger get away with them. They should be condemned. It was their free speech, but our free speech is to say what they did was absolutely wrong. Now, there is a difference, though, Martha, between incitement and criticism. And I think some of the commentary following this tragic incident this weekend has been trying to point fingers at the level of incitement, whether it's Mayor de Blasio or President Obama, and that is just irresponsible because it does not take into account the ultimate goal here. And the ultimate goal is justice. The ultimate goal is for those protesters to trust the police. When they are in trouble, that's who they want to go to. And for the police to feel connected to the community. Yeah, you know that what, you know? what you just said and is that... a message that we have not heard from any of the people that you just mentioned. And let, let's go back and take a look at some of the really hateful rhetoric that has existed in this discussion. Uh, this is Al Sharpton. Even if we get knocked down, we get up and go to the corner and come out fighting the next round. You won the first round, Mr. Prosecutor, but don't cut your gloves off because the fight's not over. Justice will come. Janine, uh, you know, that's just one example. Uh, but we've heard a lot of, sure. of the opposite of what Jammu was just calling for. Well, listen, Martha, there's no doubt in my mind that the protests and the propaganda that has been uh, going on for months and months since the Michael Brown incident uh, has uh, been a result of this shooter killing these two police officers. And listen, I do start at the top. I place blame starting with President Obama. There is plenty of blame to go around from Obama to Holder to Eric to uh, Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. But when you have a president of the United States who was saying that young black men are victims under police, who were saying that race is still an issue in our country with his interviews on BET and People magazine, I place the blame squarely on his desk. Jamu, you want to respond to that? Well, I don't understand why it's so easy for Deneen and Rudy Giuliani and others to very casually forget the president and the mayor denouncing violence, very specifically saying you cannot call for social change and then commit an act of violence against a police officer. The hypocrisy here, though, not just with this situation, is stunning. It's, it's staggering, Martha, because when we look at a situation like Dr. Tiller, who our own colleague Bill O'Reilly featured 28 different segments on before he was gunned down. It's not Bill O'Reilly's fault that Dr. Tiller was gunned down. When we look at the Clive and Bundy supporter who went into a Las Vegas cafe Jimu, and we're gunned down two about police officers, who we did in not have this same type of response. No, Deneen, your Don't hypocrisy here, here and your colleagues is is unexplainable. Don't try you to change have the it subject. both you know, ways. Uh, uh, ladies, so the goal, uh, unfortunately, the goal is not to point fingers. The goal is to find a way where yeah. we can trust. You know what? What we're all looking for here is I think aisle. we can all agree that we're looking for a little bit of real leadership for yes. people to put on their big boy pants and speak reality to everybody and to bring people together, not to divide them. And that, right. unfortunately, is what we've had. And I, I want to thank you. I'm sorry that we're cut so short here, ladies. Jammu, Deneen, thank you to thank both you, of Martha. you. We'll see you next time.